And this is the showstopper right here. This is the showstopper at the show. At some point, I gotta get my, my eyes and hands and feet on this boat because this new Solus 345 is absolutely beautiful. Guys, when I tell you this thing is stunning, wait until we do a walkthrough of this. We have to. There's no way that we can't. Look at this. Cup holder, rod holder. Oh my God, this is crazy. I gotta do something later, guys. This is why, guys, this is why I travel and I come to shows like this. Dude, Todd, wow. How you doing, guys? Welcome to Solus 345. This is an entirely new introduction for this year. Uh, 34 feet to where the engines are mounted, 38 feet to the transom door. Why did we do something so different? It had to be different. We didn't want another V2 center console. By separating the engines, we picked up an additional seven feet of cockpit space that no other boat has. It also gives us a much shallower draft. We're down to 24 inches on a full load of fuel. That's to the bottom of the boat, not the skeg. Skegs are above the bottom of the boat. So we can get some pretty shallow water with a very big boat. Let's wow. take, take a look at water. All right, guys. Guys, let me get on this. This is why we come. This is crazy, dude. Absolutely. So if this was your traditional boat, twin engine, we had them together, you'd have your splash well, you'd have your live well in your fish box, we'd be standing about here fishing around the motors. So look at how much more space we now have on board. So you, so, so everybody's fighting for the back spot for short. Yeah, and I'll tell you, for the, for the long rides out to the canyon, guess what? The guy with the beanbag back here wins every yeah. time. It's the most comfortable seat in the house. Another really, really cool feature about this is underneath this patented uh, fish through transom, we've got a uh, hydraulic swim platform comes out another four feet from underneath this. So for any of your in-water activities or just for boarding at the dock, we've got four more feet of, of uh, surface area that comes out. If you forget to put it back in, as soon as you put the engines in gear, it automatically retracts comes back in. in. That's full crazy. Boot. So you got the full of 425 Yamaha twin yep. here. How do you like those on this uh, boat? Absolutely love them. You know, the torque that these V8s put out, you know, a lot of 34 foot boats today have gone to triples. Uh, we're still able to do it with the twins because we've got a nice lightweight boat. This is a full carbon fiber and epoxy boat. We resin infuse it, vacuum bag it, and oven cure it. Very stiff, very strong, very lightweight. We didn't really want to build a lightweight boat, but we wanted to keep the weight down so that we could add a lot of other cool features. Flanking twin 52 gallon live wells. Ahead of each one, we got six gallon tuna tubes, all pressurized. This is crazy, guys. Absolutely Part of the weight crazy. savings we were looking for, right here. We knew we were adding weight with something. Couldn't live without it. Got to have a dedicated spot for it. Oh my if you God. haven't had a boat with a Sea Keeper, trust me, you'll never oh. have another one. Wow, So, guys. dedicated spot for the Sea Keeper. We've got an inverter system, no generator. So we got a barbecue grill. we got a microwave. we got air conditioning. We've got a 110 sunshade. Everything's running through the inverter system, so we're not listening to the sound of a generator running all the time. That is crazy. Now that's Sea Keeper, guys. If you're not familiar with Sea Keeper, what that does is basically eliminates the roll while you're out on the water. I did a video. I'll put a link to the above here to the right if you want to see more or less what those guys at Sea Keeper have done. It's an absolutely fantastic product. So back here in the cockpit, you know you're not always fishing. Sometimes you just want to go out and have a good time. Got a barbecue grill, prep sink, freshwater sink. That is crazy. Up here we got the rod rack. Let's go ahead and put the rod rack Beautiful. down. Oh, nice. Sure shade type. Wow, look at this, guys. All right. You see this this is this is innovation guys. This is innovation. So underneath here we got a refrigerator. Look at this. This is innovation. Absolute innovation. For our guys. divers. We've got a nice fiberglass hard surface here. Put your tanks on without tearing up any of the upholstery. But if you're out entertaining, if people need additional seats. Oh, there you go. Man. Where are you guys making these? Uh, we're down in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Oh, Smyrna Beach, nice. Yep, yep. Love County, that beach. We've got a tremendous workforce down there, a lot of qualified boat builders, a lot of high skilled labor. Is is this the only model that you guys have out this now? This is the first introduction that we have. So this is the 345. We're working on a 41 footer right now. Uh, we hope to introduce that sometime in the very early spring, probably, probably even the Palm Beach Boat Show. 
Uh, as soon as we're done with that, we're working on a 47, and then we're going to work down into some smaller boats, looking at a 30 and a 37 or 38. These finishes are incredible, man. Look at this, guys. This is, I mean, this is straight up marble. All right. So, I mean, we got a really large fish box on the floor on either side of the console. As we work our way forward, we got some really neat features up here. Take a step up there where you're standing now, you'll feel the uh, mitigation pad that you're standing on after a long day on the water. That's a big help right there. Nice, nice, uh, you know, it absorbs all the energy. Really, really comfortable to sit on. All three of the helm chairs are mounted on shockwave S5 mounts. So we can, again, we got more shock mitigation on here. Really nice to be in a seated position when you're running offshore in three to five foot seas. Guys, those shockwave seats and that mitigation system is absolutely essential, especially if you have back issues. And as far as this this uh, mitigation, like man, it's like almost uh, like a trampoline in here. Yeah, it, it feels it feels it really real, is. real nice. It takes all the vibration out. You know, I'm six four. Not everybody's uh, as tall as I am. So one of the things we did to help make it a little bit easier for uh, for our shorter people, we got a, a ten inch riser here. You can stop it at any height with a maximum of ten inches. Really, really nice also when you're in the seated position, now you got a place to plant your feet. Wow. This particular boat, we've got a tower or upper station. So heading up to the tower, stepping up here, standing on top of the console, coming up through the sunshade, you're right up into the tower with full helm seating up there as well. This is incredible, guys. This is absolutely well thought out, man. I tell you, I'm super impressed. We're, uh, we're really big into safety. Uh, obviously, everybody's got to have safety gear on board. But there's nothing worse than filling up your precious fish boxes and tackle stores with all your safety equipment. So one of the things we did, we took it a step further. Right down to the fire extinguishers. We have dedicated spots for all the mounting of everything. We're not taking up any additional space. Uh, overhead here, we've got a dedicated spot for 12 life jackets. So you guys have the, the whole fusion system thing going on. Yeah, you got, yeah. I mean, this windshield, talk to me about this windshield. All because right, so we really want to have the ability to, to enclose it in it like a pilot house and use real glass. So with the, with the help of TaylorMade, we were able to come up with this structure. Starting to rain, getting a little too windy. We've got a hydraulic system that allows us to close it. If you're heading offshore, slow day on the water, you know, just trolling, getting a little hot, open it back up, get some good airflow in. Easy, functional, wow. As we make our way forward, we've got forward seating, we've got sun lounge, we've got a lot of comfortable entertaining spots for people up here. A lot of boat companies are doing sun lounge on the front of the console. We want to take it a little step further. We've gone with five different foam packs in here, all with memory foam. The longer you sit here, the more you compress, the more comfortable it gets. You're really gonna ride up here when you're running fast. This, does this open up here? Is that uh, like that's a... actually just a water fill. Okay. Uh, we've got 40 gallons of water on board, 325 usable gallons of fuel. Uh, up here under the forward seating, we didn't want to have to remove the cushions to get into anything, so we've gone to a single latch. The cushions stay in place, easy to get in everything. At the end of the day, when you're done, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to leave your upholstery on your boat, Everything's on magnets, take them off, bring them in the garage. Nice. If you're fishing up here, you're not stepping on snaps, you want to put your cushions back in place, done. Um, wow, you guys have really changed the game. This is good, man. This is why, guys, we got to move and see other manufacturers. Look at this, man. Windless. So we got dedicated fender stores. So we got two fenders back in here, and we can fit two more fenders right up in here. Again, not taking up precious fishing space. Take a look down inside the cabin. There's not many 34 footers that have a cabin this large in a center console. Well, let me tell you, before we get into the cabin, I'm looking at all this storage space here because there's storage all, all down the th tunnel. This is this is storage after storage after storage, which you can never have enough storage on a boat. Never. So let's talk about first of all this door. Uh, well, you'll notice. Let's go ahead and start with it in the closed position. So we wanted a very large cabin door. Very easy to get all your stuff in, big rods, big guys getting all the stuff in. You don't want to beat yourself up going in and out. So we went to a very large oversized door. In a traditional fashion, if it had a hinge on one side, it would open to the combing 
that's as far as you're getting. Didn't really serve any purpose. So if I go into a pantograph hinge that we do build in-house, now I've got a very large door to get in and out. We've got seven and a half foot uh, vertical rod storage, berth for two, microwave, head, sink. We've got everything you need to go for a, go for a weekend. All right. And this, this will, that'll go straight down? Yep, the backrest folds yeah. down to make a double berth for two people. Double berth. This is crazy, man. Look at this, guys. Look at all the space in here. This is a 34-foot boat. I mean, these guys have maximized all types of space here. So the... 40 Todd is going to be very similar, just it, it bigger. Will be, it'll be very similar. Uh, it's just going to be a good bit larger. Uh, more of everything. More fuel, more storage, more fish boxes, bigger live wells, more engines. Giving people what they want. They want more. Question though, because of the the the, the transom design, what well, what that's happens? Well, it's going to get a little interesting. As okay. we go to larger, we're going to have to go back to a traditional transom. So anything from the uh, 41 up, we will have a, your traditional transom with triples and quad engines. Okay. Um, we're going to follow back up later with a 30 and probably a 37 or 38 that will have the same setup as this with the uh, patented fish through transit. Um, guys, this is... Are you guys going to be at the Fort Lauderdale show? We absolutely will be. You we'll will. have uh, uh, two more versions of this setup down there. Uh, we have one with 450 uh, Mercury's and another one with 425 Yamaha's. Uh, Todd, if they wanted to look at this uh, 345 Solus, where would they go online or? Well, I certainly welcome it to come on to uh, www.solusboats.com. Call us at the factory, we'll help you all we can. Here locally in the Maryland market, we'd love to have you stop by PYY Marine in Pasadena, Maryland. Guys, when I tell you this boat is a game changer, if Alfred Montaner says this is a game changer, you guys Little are changed. Things. You're changing the game. Little things with the help of scan strut, we were able to do some cool things like induction chargers that are universal for any size phone that is absolutely awesome scan truck guys it'll automatically charge your phone you put it on there great stuff you guys have literally just changed the game on everybody so can't wait to see you guys over there in the Fort Lauderdale and the Miami show guys the Solus check it out this is an absolute game changer hey Dude, you just, you just broke my YouTube, bro. You just broke. You just Thank broke. You, you just broke my YouTube. I'm I'm out of here.